Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Chill. I'm Kevin. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy, and I'm also very, very sad to be um, to be watching this final episode. Um, I've loved this show, um, as you are aware. Um, I've, it's been such a high, and I've had such lows of it. Being one of the most amazing shows I've ever had the privilege of sitting down and watching to get to see the lives of these guys. And uh, yeah, I just don't want it to end, but every beginning has to have a hand, an, an ending, I suppose. And uh, yeah. This is Band of Brothers, episode 10, and it's points. After the um, the heartbreak of the last episode, which is I'm sure you are aware uh, I've been through, as you have yourselves, and a lot of the comments that I have heard, uh, people have mentioned that it was a heartbreak. Um, a bit like exactly, well, not a bit like exactly kind of how I went through it. Um, very tough to watch for obvious reasons. Um, almost to the point of having to switch it off. I don't, I, I, you know, you, you can't deal with it um, as a rational person. Uh, your heart just breaks uh, watching it to think that this actually went on. Um, yeah, so it's, it, it, it's one of those where I got told that moving from that into this one, it's... It's kind of like the polar opposite, but still very emotional. So I'm guessing, um, I'm hoping we're going to get to see the end of the war. Lots of things that people have said. Um, I do have moderators that have watched kind of like what comments have been coming out. A few things I have picked up is that we're going to find out who the guys were. Uh, the gentleman, shall I say, at the beginning of the episodes. Uh, it's followed us. Uh, a, a few um, recurring people have popped up. I'm guessing that we're going to find out that who they were. Um, I'm extremely excited to find that out like, to the point where I don't think I can hold in my excitement. Uh, I'm very, very, like, I've got a lot of, uh, like, I don't know, like, I've got, like, I feel like I've got a close relationship with the guys. It's strange to say that because obviously, you know, obviously I don't, but you've, you've watched this show from beginning, from boot camp, you know, to core all the way through. They've been every, you know, they've been through so much D Day, you know, Bastogne, Foy. Uh, it, it, Yes, you've seen them go through some highs, you've seen them go through some lows, and it's, it's kind of followed specific characters as we've gone as well. Um, I'm hoping to see some of those characters that we've um, th that have been on there and to see, kind of see uh, who survived and who didn't. Um, it's nerve-wracking as well as uh, exciting because it's, it's still not the end. There's a, there's a possibility that people still won't make it, so I'm, I'm just nervous, I'm excited. Um, Again, thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time, uh, just hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. Uh, yeah, that does help out a lot. And remember, I do put the full-length episodes to Band of Brothers on the Patreon. I'll leave a link if that's something you're interested in. So, yeah, let's get into this. And, yeah, uh, I am super excited. I can't wait to watch this. Let's go. Points. The first thing I noticed straight off the bat was that we didn't get to see the guys talking at the beginning. Uh, I'm guessing they're leaving that to the end. This sound, this music, it does it. No, it just hits real hard. Oh, book. Oh, book was okay. Yeah, like he, he had a really, really bad time at Baston. Wow, how common does it look? considering it's a band of brothers. Just going for a swim. Yes, Winters. It was more than three years since Lewis Nixon and I decided to join the paratroops. I certainly didn't expect to find myself in a place like this. Morning. It's a bit early for Nixon. Come to join me for a morning swim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. You said he had all these photographs of the 506. What? <laughs> Whoa. What do you think you'll do after this? Well, it's funny you should mention it, because I had a meeting with Colonel Sink. Yeah. He's gonna stay in. I discussed the possibility of uh, staying. Oh. Yeah, as a career. Mm. He's brilliant, though. There's a company in uh, Nixon, New Jersey. It's called Nixon Nitration Works. Well, Nixon? Sounds picturesque. Yeah. Well, oddly enough, I know the owners. <laughs> it's his parents. Probably gonna expect me to make something of myself. I thought maybe I'd drag you with me oh man are you offering me a job what <laughs> Nixon <laughs> commensurate with your current salary level 
Oh man. I'll think about it. Oh, oh please, Winters. I really appreciate it. Please go. Should he stay? Because he'd probably help save a lot of lives if he stayed in the army. Because he's so good. But after everything he's been through, you think you just kinda you just kinda want them to go. This famous town high in the Alps was the Nazi party's symbolic home. Although Hitler was dead, he had apparently ordered the SS to make it their last stand oh, from shit. which to mount a guerrilla resistance against the Allied advance. Shit. If you're looking for someone to find another way up that mountain, Easy Company is ready and willing. So the French are gonna beat us to the Eagles next. They won't want that. No. Sink, I'll say, get up there. Now you fire up 2nd Battalion and I'd flank that French son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. Get run up there. One easy company in the lead. Have the men assemble down on the Autobahn. Yes, sir. They don't want the French to beat them to the nest. Yes, hurry. Well known person get shot. I mean, I know they all, I don't want to say anybody gets shot, but you kind of know where I'm coming from regarding that. People who we've been kind of akin to all the way through. Keep your down, kidder. I'm gonna get that popped off. That's because this is a one town. You can't deny being a true Nazi. What do you mean? Well, you have to be to live here. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. No, no. Give us that here, son. All the names of people who have signed in and out. <gasps> I was gonna say. How many brides get a wedding present from Hitler? I can't carry all this. It's all silver. I just don't even think about it. Oh yes, go on, Harry lad. Harry, nobody gets hurt, not now. Easy, you'll head up the mountain through the over Salzburg and take the Eagle's Nest. Yes. Go on, lads. It must be such a strange feeling, this. A mountaintop stone <sighs> retreat, 8,000 feet up, accessible by a gold plated elevator. Wow. It was one of the crown jewels of his empire. I mean, I don't know how true this is, obviously, how true this is to the reality, but I'm taking it as it's all true. Wow. Look at those pictures, man. They're all hammered drunk. <laughs> you can't blame them, though, how are you? You can't take that away from them. <laughs> Have a drink. <laughs> Any grass. <laughs> Come on. Ready for it? Listen up. Here we go. German army surrendered. What? German army surrendered. I mean, what type of news is that? <laughs> that isn't even like handshake news. That's I need a cuddle news. Goering's house. What? We discovered it yesterday. Goering's house. Whoa. Man, this is so good. Is it? Oh no, it's, a, it's like a wine cellar. 10,000 bottles of the world's finest liquor, wine, and champagne helped Easy Company mark the day the war in Europe came to an end. What? So take what you want and have each company take a truckload. Happy VE Day. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's... I can't. Victory in Europe. Oh my god, I just can't deal with it. Is he gonna find his Fat 69? And no one wanted to leave Birch's garden. Until they saw Austria. Beautiful part of the world. Oh, holy shit. You have to let me know in the comment section if you've been to Austria, or if you live in Austria. So you reckon they'll make us run up those or ski down them? <laughs> Insane. That's shifty. Hey, hey. 
Was it Malaki who got his face slapped? The war is over. We'll be comfortable here. <laughs> uh, you think? For a truck full of alcohol? Please accept this as my formal surrender, Major. It is better than to lay it on the desk of a clerk. You may keep your sidearm, Colonel. Wow. Oh, would you do that in real life? Respectful if he did, but I don't know how true to life that would be. I'm sure you'd take that and be like, this is mine. Jay is. The thing that the surrender, he surrendered his sidearm. You keep that as a souvenir. Let him keep it. Over Japan, a victory that can only be won by work, war bonds, and heroic sacrifice. And is that what the Pacific is focused on? The shore. So, when are we going? We don't have a date yet. What? No! Some of them will have enough points to go home instead. Not many. Points. Their only metal is Purple Heart. I think most of us here will have enough. And each of us will have to decide what to do. I want those veterans who are staying, all new replacements ready to fight. That means rifle ranges. That means daily close order drills. No. Above all, it means physical training. Thought it was the end, and it's like, no, we're going to, we're going to Japan. So what's points then? Here's gonna shoot. Is it just dependent on what you've done in the army? And well, like you said, it merited like a purple heart or something that you can get the points to go home. You tired of eating dried up spuds three times? Surely Bull and them will have enough points. Shoot Bull here. He seems they want me to stay around a while. You serious? What? How many points you need? Fifteen. Christ, I thought I had it bad. <sighs> oh, the shift. No purple heart, she never was injured. Oh, no. So they have to stay. Oh, this is going to be hard. Some of them go and some of them stay. On this, the anniversary of D-Day, he has authorized a lottery to send one man home in each company, effective immediately. Who is it? For easy company, the winner is... Please be someone we know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Serial number, 1306-66. Sergeant Daryl C. Power... Shifty! Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy you can also cry. Congratulations, Shifty. Yes, Shifty. We'll definitely be redeployed to the Pacific. God. So, beginning tomorrow, at 0600 hours, we will begin training to go to war. Oh my God, did he just say that? I can't have- Come in. Uh, I've just, I'm really happy for Shifty. I just wanted to, um... Say goodbye. It's been a long time. Yes, Shifty. Paperwork's all done. I even got my back pay in my pocket. Back home in Virginia. I just don't rightly know how I'm going to explain all this. I seen. You're a hell of a fine soldier, Shifty. There's nothing more to explain. Thank you, sir. Two days later, Shifty Powers was on a truck headed for the rear and a boat home. Unfortunately, the truck was hit head on by a drunken corporal from another regiment. Shifty had a broken pelvis, a broken arm, and a bad concussion. He survived, but had to spend the next few months in a series of hospitals. I thought it was going to say he's been killed. Don't do that to us. Guts and Glory here applied for a transfer. What? Heading out for the Pacific right away. If I'm going, I want to get it over with. Are you in on this too? What? I can't let him go by himself. He doesn't know where it is. Oh no, they're going straight away, man. I don't believe this. You're leaving the men? They don't need me anymore. So you were given command of the company on D-Day? <laughs> That's right. Wow, oh, it's going back so when they took the machine guns. God, it seems like so long ago. That was such an amazing episode. Such an amazing episode. He bumped you to Battalion XO. Got some eyebrows in him, like, any look at them bad boys. <laughs> oh. Been through a lot, hasn't he? You got through it. God almighty, this episode is just so good so far. 
I said, why do you want to leave him in? Major, I took this meeting out of respect for your achievements. Oh, he's not. And frankly, I think you men have earned the right to keep you around. Yes, sir. You men have earned the right to keep you around. So I would stay in Austria for the time being, waiting for orders. This is where the guy lives, right here. Which camp? Whatever camp. I don't know. So they think that he's um he's a commander of one of the camps. Shit. Oh, he's shot them. Bitch. Shoot him! No. Okay, I don't know what to say about that. Summer in this alpine paradise should have been a welcome relief. No. Especially now that we were at peace with the Germans. Hey, Webster! My relief! Don't salute the Germans! <laughs> okay, see you back at the farm. I wonder what he's gonna, how he's going to treat them. I have 81 points. <laughs> well, it's just not good enough. How many points do you need then? I'm guessing it's 100, maybe? Möchten Sie nach München gehen? Ja, bitte. Meine schönen Kleider. What? Was machen Sie dort? Haben Sie verrückt? Get in. Huh? What? Oh, no. Oh, he hasn't been killed, has he? He was dead when they brought him in. What the fuck? What the fuck? The enemy had surrendered. People are still but dying. Somehow, men Jesus. were still dying. Oh, but... Stuck here because they didn't have the points. But they did have plenty of for weapons, alcohol, and too much time on their hands. Oh, so there's loads of fighting. Oh my god, what's happened? Oh, what's he done? You okay, Matt? You need some help? <laughs> Careful. They wouldn't give me any gas. <laughs> what? Oh no, fucking way. After all of that, he's been shot in the fucking head off him. I'm so fucking angry. Sorry for swearing so much. I'm so angry. He's not gonna make it. You can't operate on him? Not me. You'd need a brain surgeon. I'm so angry. Two men watching every road out of town. Bull, Malone. Oh, I'm so f angry. I wonder if that really happened. Open up. Get in the jeep. If you're going to shoot me, shoot me. If you're not, put the gun away. Come on. If you want him to live, you'll help me. Yes. First, by putting that away. Let me drive. We'll get there faster. Go on, go on, Doc. Look at both of them, Eugene. And oh man, go on, please save his life. I don't know he's taking a bigger beat than me or him. Of the found him. Play a different game. Oh, they're kicking the piss out of him. Gonna go in there and join in. I should go in there and stop this. Oh, is it Spears? Where is he? How's Grant? Where is he? You okay? Where is he? Oh, here we go. He's just gonna kill him. <laughs> replacement. Oh no, he was a replacement as well. Where's the weapon? What weapon? When you talk to an officer, you say, sir. Oh, dude. Oh. Have the MPs take care of this piece of shit. Crowd surgeon says he's gonna make it. What? Oh, thank God he survived. So you looked at him, but you didn't take him. That's right, sir. I don't believe you. You better not be lying to me. <laughs> he obviously done it, he stole the pictures. I know Easy Company's gonna need a commanding officer post-war. Somebody to hold their hand, keep them from killing each other. It better be somebody who knows what they're doing. Yep, I couldn't agree more. So you've decided to stay in the army? Yes, I'm gonna stay with the men. I knew that was coming, I do. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So, some of us would stay by choice. Wow. But others were stuck here unless we could find excuses to send them away. Excuses? So it's, you'll be like a technical advisor, make sure they get everything right. I understand, sir. Yes. Sorry, it's not a more hospitable location. No, sir, Paris is, is just fine. What? Malarkey's gone there. 
need me to go if someone has to beat us. Yeah, we do. We absolutely do. And your driver will drop you off at a hotel of your choice. I don't think we'll see you back here anytime soon. Oh, I love it so much. I won't let you down, sir. Oh, man, that's so good. So they're picking the, the specific guys and sending them off to jobs. The army, when they give a man a battlefield commission, make him an officer. They usually don't let him stay with the same company. Yes, sir, I am. They're afraid the men won't show him the proper degree of respect as they would another officer. They've given me the choice as to where to reassign you, and I thought battalion headquarters might be a good place. I can think a few better. <laughs> good. Down at the airfield, there is a German general who was a little PO'd about having to surrender to Private Babe Heffron from South Philly. <laughs> He's just beneath his stature. I thought Second Lieutenant Carwood Lipton from West Virginia could soothe his ruffled feathers. <laughs> yes. No problem, sir. They're all getting like, it's so like, I can't really talk yet, it's so like heartfelt. With your permission, I would like to address my men briefly. That'll be fine, General. Oh, look at him. He's some boy, isn't he? Sobel! Oh, he just turned. Captain <gasps> Sobel? He turned away. Major winners. Captain Sobel! <laughs> we salute the rank, not the man. <laughs> look, look at Nixon. Ah, oh, that was such a good scene. It's been a long war. It's been a tough war. We fought bravely, proudly. You are a special group. We found in one another a bond that exists only in combat. Among brothers, we've shared foxholes. Hmm. Basically mirroring exactly what they've done. Und gemeinsam gelitten haben. We've seen death and suffered together. This is an amazing scene. Mit euch gedient zu haben. I'm proud to have served with each and every one of you. You deserve long and happy lives in peace. Hmm. Isn't that like amazing that they did it that way? Instead of Winters speaking now, they've kind of got the, the major the German major to, to kind of do the speech and it kind of mirrored exactly what he would have said. That was an amazing scene. What the hell happened to them? New Jersey, huh? Yeah. You awake yet? I don't know if he'll leave the army. Go on, Nix. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Wow. Look at that sight, man. Is that Book? Is that Book? But Compton came back to see the company to let us know that he was all right. Yes! He became a prosecutor in Los Angeles. He convicted Sirhan Sirhan in the murder of Robert Kennedy. What? And was later appointed to the California Court of Appeal. Book? David Webster became a writer for the Saturday Evening Post and Wall Street Journal. And later wrote a book about sharks. In 1961, he went out on the ocean alone and was never seen again. What? What? I love the way they're doing this. Johnny Martin would return to his job at the railroad and then start his own construction company. What? George Luz became a handyman in Providence, Rhode Island. Yes, Luz. As a testament to his character, 1,600 people attended his funeral in 1998. What? Doc? Doc Rowe died in Louisiana. He'd been a construction contractor. A construction contractor? Doc? Frank Fricani returned to Chicago. Yes, Frank. And worked a postal route as a mailman. Joe Liebgott returned to San Francisco and drove his cab. I love it. Yes, Bull. Bull Ranneman was one of the best soldiers I ever had. He went into the earth moving business in Arkansas. He's still there. Earth moving? He's some boy. Alton Moore returned to Wyoming with a unique souvenir, Hitler's personal photo album. I did steal them. He was killed in a oh. car accident in 1958. How we this lived our crazy. lives after the war was as varied as each man. Harwood lived oh. and became a glass-making executive in charge of factories all over the world. He has a glass nice life making. in North Carolina. Harry Welsh. He married Kitty Grove oh, and great. became an administrator for the Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania school system. Did he use the parachute? The silk parachute? Ronald Spears stayed in the army. 
served in Korea, and 1958 returned to Germany as governor of Spandau Prison. What? He retired a lieutenant colonel. Well, I suppose what, but yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> That's got spears written all over it. He's a company! School circle! This is emotional. For easy company, it was D-Day plus 434. What the shit, Biscuit? This morning, President Truman received the unconditional surrender from the Japanese. War's over. Regardless of points, medals, or wounds, each man in the 101st Airborne would be going home. Each of us would be forever connected by our shared experience, and each would have to rejoin the world as best he could. Lewis Nixon had some tough times after the war. He was divorced a couple of times. Then in 1956, he married a woman named Grace, and everything came together for him. Yes. He spent the rest of his life with her, traveling the world. My friend Lou died in 1995. 1995. I took up his job offer and was a personnel manager at the Nixon Nitration Works until I was called back into service in 1950 to train officers and rangers. But I chose not to go to Korea. I'd had enough of war. I stayed around Hershey, Pennsylvania, finally finding a little farm, a little peaceful corner of the world, where I still live today. There is not a day that goes by and I do not think of the men I served with who never got to enjoy the world without war. Intense. A very unusual feeling. It's a very unusual happening. And it's a very unusual bonding. Each other. And so we were a, a close-knit group. What? Just brave. So brave is unbelievable. And uh, what? I don't know anybody that I admire more than Bill Garnier and and Joe Toy. And just one part of Gone the big war, that's all. One little part. Can't believe this. And I'm proud to be a part of it. The real men, the real heroes, are the fellows that are... Efron Bibb! And those that come home. It seemed like you figured, that you thought that you could do just about anything. And after the war was over... And I shifted! Out, well, I can't deal I with it. All that. Or at least I did. I lost all that confidence. Hoping to stay alive, that's all. So Johnny... Mm. Oh. Man. He said, from this day That's Lipton. to the ending of the what? world, we in it shall be remembered. We lucky few, we band of brothers. For he who today sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Remember. I can't believe that's Winters. I can't believe it. The letter that my granny wrote me. Do you remember how I ended it? I cherish the memories of a question my grandson asked me the other day when he said, Grandpa, were you a hero in the war? Grandpa said no. But I served in a company of heroes. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Did it. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, that one hit hard at the end, mind. But uh, give myself a just bear with us a second just to get me my bearings a little bit. Um Okay, I'm back. Okay. That hit. That hit hard. That hit really, really, really hard at the end there. I thought that end scene um, was phenomenal. Uh, I think the last, maybe the last 20 minutes of that episode, were, I mean, it was a great episode all around, but that last 20 minutes of um, that episode was um, horrifically, well, horrifically amazing. Um, it, it was so heartfelt, uh, even from the, the major talk and... Um, kind of basically mirroring exactly what Windows would say. I thought that, as much as I don't know if it's true, I thought that Sobel interaction was brilliant and great, great for us to see that even if it wasn't true. I thought it was amazing. Um, the thing that stands out for me there is, the, is that last bit, um, talking about all the guys uh, going back to their lives um, and how they've, they've survived uh, or who didn't, and then seeing the guys at the end, seeing Windows and seeing Lip Lipton and and Malarkey and, and Bill Garnier and Babe Heffron and um, and Shifty uh, was 
was amazing. I mean, I don't even think I can get over that. I'm going to have to go back and watch that again. Um, after you've seen this show all the way through, <clears throat> and you've you've kind of seen the guys uh, and they've been talking, um, and then to see see them who they really are at the end, there that was probably my favourite part of the of the entire series. I think that bit where you get to see who they are, it's it hits like a train. Um, it it's not it's totally an unexpected feeling because you're used to being feeling really down over people dying to get hit with that kind of it's almost like euphoria that you get hit with and knowing that they survived it um okay my memory isn't too bad but it isn't the best i'm going to go back and um and next so and think about what they said about the other guy so spears um he he Governor of Spandau Prison, so he, I don't know if it said he went there, but he retired a lieutenant colonel. But Jesus, I mean, could you expect anything other than someone like Spears? He, w he was a true soldier uh, through and through. Um, you couldn't picture him just going back and getting a job at Tesco, you know. You, you, you know, he. I mean, obviously they weren't around then, but you, you kind of get what I mean. He was he's a born soldier um, and obviously retired and uh, went all the way through. Um, the thing is, what the thing that stands out for me, um, and I'm sure it might for a lot of you there, is when it said when it, when it was talking about Frank and and uh, and Leap got um now they just went back. Frank said I think it said Frank went back and uh, worked the postal route, so he was just a postman, you know, and not it's only only a postman, but the amount of people that have passed him on the street and not realised that, you know, the things that he'll have been through, and he's just been a, he's just a postman. You know, getting up every day, doing that, not realizing that he was, he's been through these horrific moments that are going to be captured through through history. Um, Lieb got went and you know said he went back and, to, to, and drove his cab. How many people got in his cab and got out, not knowing that in 40, 50 years that there was going to be a TV show made about him? Do you know what I mean? That's to me is, you know, the, the there's got in the cab. There you go. See you later. Not thinking, you know, this guy's like a war hero. That in 50 years' time, the biggest director or the biggest, in some of the biggest blockbuster stars in the world, they're going to actually play them on screen. Like, and I just think like it just that's it's that's when you think like that, it's it's, it's crazy that they had to go back and adapt to to civilian life. Um. I love the fact that Winters took up his, the, the job with Nixon. Um, I didn't realise. I mean, I knew Nixon said that he was a West Pointer, I think it said, but it, it, he'd obviously come from a well-to-do family. I didn't realise his family owned, like, a Nixon nitration thing, I think they said, and then he was going to be joining them. Um, I can't believe Alton Moore died in a in a car crash. Uh, that's so hard to think that you've, you know, you've come back, you've been to the Eagle's Nest, you've, you've got Hitler's, you know, personal photo albums, and you die in a car crash. Um... I just can't, I, this show has meant so much, it's been so hard hitting, so emotional, um, I literally want to get everything I can on the, on the airborne and read it, um, and now I can, now I can google stuff, uh, which I can't wait, I want to see who's got books out, um, I'm flying to Canada next week, so I'm gonna have, uh, something to read, I'm gonna get some books, um, which I'm really looking forward to, I'm, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping Winter's brought out his own, I don't know if he did, if or, but if he didn't, I've just got the Stephen Ambrose one that I'm going to read. Um, yeah, um, I just, I can't kind of get my head around just kind of how much that, that kind of series meant to us. Um, I am going, this isn't the end for me with regards to this. I am going to be watching the, um, the, the, the documentary that a lot of people have mentioned that'll be coming out soon. And uh, also the Ron Livingston Diaries as well. I'm going to get all of them. I'm going to be reacting to them as well. And I'll be putting them on as well on the, on, on the channel. I kind of can't get my head around the... I'll, I'll, everybody that I, that I speak to now, the first thing I'm going to say is, have you seen Band of Brothers? But the thing is, most of them have. Um, and if they haven't, I'm going to sit them down and make them watch it. And for those of you out there that have said I, I should make Lewis watch it, Lewis wants to watch it now. He said he'd like to watch it on the channel. So I've said, okay, you can wait till next year and you can watch it. People say, well, why don't you get him to watch it now on the channel? Well, he's too young. Not to watch it in when the channel is not. He's too young to watch it uh, on the channel. <laughs> you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, um, 
uh, th that show was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, the acting, the, the 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 music, the cinematography, the the production. This, it, you just don't get any better than that. Um, I know the next up now is uh, is the Pacific. I'll be moving on to the Pacific next. Uh, let me know what you thought of that. Um, I just can't get over it. I want to go back and watch it again. I'm so happy. Oh yeah, that was one. I'm, I'm I can't believe Bull. He convicted Sirhan Sirhan in the murder of Robert Kennedy. What the shit? So I'm so so not only is he okay, he actually went on and um, and did really really well. And Webster, what the fuck happened to Webster? So he wrote a book about sharks. So he must after the war he must have became like kind of into that. He's obviously gone out. Maybe had an accident. Oh, man. You just, it, it, I just can't get over it. I can't. And then just seeing them at the end. You could definitely see how much um, Malarkey has hurt. He was one of the ones that was saying um, that he was like, when he, we, on an, a few episodes ago, I remember him because he was going, uh, that, that we just, you never forget those moments where your friends die and there's nothing you can do when he's written, because he got that got me upset. Like, like most of this show. Um, so he'll have been through a lot after the war. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching the documentary uh, and seeing these guys a bit more. I won't Google anything now, obviously, until I've seen that. Um, I just can't get over how amazing this show has been so far. I just want to say thank you so much for all of you that have um, that have commented. Those of you who've served in the military that have com commented and said that I've been doing a good job. I thank you for your service. And uh, I thank you all. You A lot of people have said that their families have been in the in the military as well so you know just you, you know without use you wouldn't have the freedom that that people have today so um yeah i just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and if this is the first time at the channel i'll leave a link um, to the playlist you can go and watch some again and uh yeah thanks for all your comments all your love and it'll be the pacific next just want to say thank you so much again and yeah i'll speak to you all very very soon